This is just an issue that is so key. And, you know, DACA repealing dreamers, this is a fundamental and common sense American issue here. And it's so great to see not just the people that you've mentioned, but the leaders of GM, Starbucks, um, you know, companies from around the country. We have 400 business leaders who've already spoken out in support of protecting DACA and calling on Congress to pass the bipartisan DREAM Act. What percentage of the S&P 500 has DACA employees? We have... Uh, recently concluded a study uh, with our friends at the Center for American Progress, and we found at least 75% of the largest companies in America have someone who identifies as a DACA employee, which means it's much higher. I think it's fair to say almost every major company in America is benefiting from DACA because they've been able to hire someone who's a DACA recipient. I, I read, yeah, I read in the release, 72% of the top 25 Fortune 500 mm -hmm. companies. So I see that as 18. Can we extrapolate out that the rest of the 500 also have them or you didn't ask? I'm just trying to get a sense of how we know the numbers. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a good question. We feel confident it's over half um, of Fortune 500 companies here. Um, and we were able to nail it down with kind of the largest of the large companies there. And look, as somebody who has a couple DACA recipients on our team at Forward.us, we're a stronger organization because of it. What are you going to do if President Trump says he's not going to extend it, especially because the reason there's a deadline today and why we're talking about it today are these attorneys general across the United States who say if it doesn't end, they're going to file suit to try and end mm -hmm. it. And they had it. They had success with DAPA, which was supposed to be for the parents of these kids. It was going to be an expansion. And that failed. I mean, it, it seems like the program, we don't know what's going to happen with the court system, but it could be doomed either way. Well, I want to be really clear. This is not a deadline. The president has said he is the decider and the president is right about that. The fact that he is being threatened by the Attorney General of Texas, with everything that's going on in Texas, that we're going to spend taxpayer dollars threatening to sue, to overturn DACA so they can restart the deportations of 800,000 Dreamers, that is just absolutely wrong. There is not a deadline. Nothing happens on Tuesday. But they file suit. But, but you understand my question, right? If they file suit right. and it goes and through the courts, you could lose anyways. Look. DACA has been around for five years, okay? There have been efforts to overturn the executive order. by people. Yeah, 800,000 people are benefiting from this. It's been around for five years. This is somebody uh, in Texas and with nine other attorneys general who are really trying to undermine the president who's tried to keep this, obviously, he's kept this so far. 200,000 people have gone through this program under President Trump. He's done the right thing so far. He can continue to do the right thing by keeping this program in place and calling on Congress to pass a DREAM Act. Todd, this what is an issue, though, that your group has been advocating for for many months at this point. Mm -hmm. When I was on Squawk Alley in the mornings, you joined us several times to talk just about this. Do you have any reason to believe that you're making inroads, that your argument is being heard oh. by the administration? Well, in the last two hours, you've seen the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. You've seen Senator Orrin Houch both come out and say, Mr. President, don't rescind DACA. Give us time to let us deal with this legislatively. Uh, we had 40 different conservative leaders. We pushed out statements from them in the last couple hours saying, don't rescind DACA. Let's pass a DREAM Act. And I think the reason that you're seeing, you know, the president clearly is, is torn on this issue. He doesn't want to see DREAMers deported. Um, he should keep DACA and he should demand Congress bring a DREAM you know, Act to in the theory floor. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.